Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, I'm going to try and see if I can remove the prospector bags, put them on a C1, and then see if I can sell them from the C1 and see if that's a, a, a valuable thing to him. So we hope you like this video, guys. Run the intro. So a little bit of housework to uh, do here guys. The code dropping down at the moment is a code we picked at random from our comment section. So if you want your code to show in the next video, if you've subscribed, just leave a comment with your code and we'll pick one at random as uh, next time that we, we, we've been doing. And for anybody that's new to Star Citizen, use that code when you create a new account and you will get 5,000 credits and push that person up in the rankings where they can earn some goodies. And so I also wanna thank and welcome new member Jamberson. Uh, thank you for your support and your membership. Uh, I'm going to start trying to build this membership up and offer more stuff to, to the members. And to all the other people whose names are running across the screen as well, I want to thank you greatly for your support. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some trying out to see if we can sell the prospect of bags on a different ship. And if that's possible, then we can think about how we can use a prospector in a faraway place and then just have somebody moving the bags and replacing the bags. So that's what today's one's gonna to be about, guys. Sorry that it's been about a week since I've posted something. Um, I had to take care of some family business, uh, but I should be getting back in into this quite soon. So you'll start seeing some more videos. So let's get into this one, guys. Now, I don't think I can use the big, mine, uh, the big uh, tractor beam the two-handed one in this area, but I can use my small one. So I'm going to take that one off my back. Now it's not going to let me because I haven't undone my things, which I need to do now. Should have thought about that a minute ago. So you have to make sure that your um, ports are unlocked. Oh, she can't pick nothing up off your ship. And to do that is right alt and K. All right, shift and K. I'll tell you in a sec once I get in. And you'll get a sign up the top that tells you it's unlocked. There we go. So right, Alt and K, ship port's unlocked. There we are. And then we can get out and do this. Wee. Four. Down. I'll do it for them all. I may have to bring this up a bit to do it. No, don't. There we are. Hopefully that goes in there. One. 
any side. Next one. Another one in. Oh, well, don't want it to do that. There we are. Let's grab the last one. Obviously, when you're floating in space, it's going to be a lot easier. And another person doing it. That's that. Let's go and land this ship and see if we can sell this stuff.
So here I am, guys. Just about to land. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Gonna go on, but go and put. I've not put my landing gear down, that's why. Okay, we're going back in now. Vehicle retrieval system. So that's stored now. Let's see if I can actually go and sell the stuff from it. Here's time. Time will tell. Let's have a look. See you on spirit? No. It shows ammonia. That's it. Undefined cargo. So I don't think we're going to be able to do this. So we can't do that. We can't do that. Vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle, your I can't put them in the local storage. So the only way we'd be able to do it is to have another prospector up here. So say if we had like, I've got my prospector on that pad now. The only way we'd be able to do it is if someone came back. So I could claim my prospector now and have the bags put on it. And then the person could then take those bags put them in the ship here empty, bring them back down to us and, and replace them with the others. And then we'd have a prospector that's empty on the pad. You are clear to launch. Proceed. 
And then what we would do is come in. We would then come in and basically just put them on the empty prospector and then go and sell from that empty prospector. That's the way we could do it. Thank you. And please visit again. So I could just come back in here now and land. Get out of my seat. So I said I went to visit someone like Kilthanis. Kilthanis is mining or, or someone's mining down on a planet. I went down to see him. I pulled out my prospector with empty car, empty bins like this. Then went down to Kilthanis and changed his bins. I could then say these bins are then full when I come back up to the space station. I could then come back here. And grab these. Let's get them in place first. So I need to sort of lift it a little bit and then do that with it sort of thing. I'm useless with these. Like that and then we can put them in place then from underneath. Let go of that there and it'll go in. So I could do that basically, I could take these bins, said they're full of cargo. Yeah, useless. They call me useless. And then bring them, put them onto this prospector that's waiting underneath. that wait till it's green and then do that and then I would same with this one so while I'm doing this kill Thanis or someone could be down on the planet still mining and I just do this with it empty on sell it at the refinery or whatever or go and refine it and then I've got empty bins again that I can take back down with me. There we are. And if I now go on Put this in the refinery. You don't have to um, put it away, the ship. In a hazmat team to head down to the subject, we got a camp spill.
and we should be able to now pick the prospector. There we are. And um, we're looking at 48,000 just on that, that stuff that's in there, that Terranite and that. But if we refine it, we're probably looking at about 50, uh, 100 grand. So let's do that. Prospector, set up a work order. The only thing we want is the Terranite. And we want the Ferron. Let's get a quart. Eight hours, that'll do us. We're going to get 12 back. Phoenix, get quart. We're going to get 12 back as well. Or 13, we'll get 13 back. And it's going to cost us 5 grand in 24 hours. Or we go for the ferrom. Get the quart, we'll get the 12 back. It's going to cost us 11 grand. We'll do that one five grand. Confirm. Work order done. And that's that. So the the only way I think we can do this is if we have two moles, one of them we're gonna be replacing the bags on and then using it to sell the uh, or refine this stuff. And then the other one can be mining. We're gonna grab his bags, pull them off, put them in the, the C1 and put the empty bags or back on his ship. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on that once I get somebody on next with me and uh, try that and see how we get on with it. So that's the this video, guys. So we hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of that. We can't sell uh, materials from a, C, from a C1 in the bags, but we can put it onto an empty prospector and sell that. So I think the way forward to go is have an empty prospector on a landing pad and then we will... We will bring the bins back, put them on the prospector, start the refine, then take the then take the bins back off, and um, and then um, let's sell that let sell that stuff there. Then, so yeah, so we can always have somebody mining. Then we can have a couple of people mining, maybe, and somebody taking the bins back. Uh, the other option is we both go out with prospectors. Someone mines, and then someone replaces them bins, and then goes off and sells that and then comes back to to change them while somebody's over there and then you get them you're going to then save all that time from traveling with two people so yeah so we hope you like that one guys and um we'll see you out in the verse